Hey guys, so the boys are going on a jet ski trip here, so got Hunter with me and uh, he's going to tell you about the, their new jet skis. So, what do you got here? So, tell me about yours. Um, I got a 97, I believe it is, 97 Super Jet. You know you um, got to, you got to take the hood off. Huh? You got to show us some more. This ski's actually pretty clean. Where'd you guys get this one? Yours? Uh, we drove to Connecticut for it. It is really clean. And then, yeah, it was cleaner before I had it actually. <laughs> <laughs> it sat in some guy's basement for like 15 years, so. What um, was done to this one, do you know? Pretty much everything. It's got a B pipe. Um, it's got, I don't know exactly what the ignition, what kind of ignition it has. Yeah. It's not total loss. Um, obviously, I, I mean, total loss is, probably the best way to go but right I think it's what like size carbs do you know I am not sure on that one Parker no yeah Parker would know he's like a little yeah. dictionary like a little encyclopedia on this yeah. thing yeah he knows all of everything mechanically what year is it though what'd you say what year is the ski oh uh, it's a 97 I believe sweet so yeah it's nice I like it it rides nice it's got um it's got trim on it. Extra Have you trim. Uh, tried any flips or anything like that? I haven't tried any flips yet. Parker, I know it's harder on the. Yeah, well, I also my turf on this isn't the best. Mm -hmm. um, it and, can kick in. Yeah, well, the footholds are just kind of big, so your foot doesn't really stay in there. Yeah. I wear kind of bigger sneakers. Okay. Um, and that helps a little bit, but it's not. You're not really in there, so yeah. I don't feel comfortable trying to flip it yet. Okay. Yeah. I, it's actually, I think it's pretty hard to flip these, so, yeah, but. It's, it's tough. You getting better and learning some stuff? Oh yeah. It's good. Yeah, we've been riding a lot. It's a good it's time. It's good. All right, tell me about, so this is his new freestyle ski? Yeah, he just bought, um, so it's, he switched out everything from his old ski into this. He built um, a new, it's a 900 TPE um, competition motor and he had that in his tiger craft and then he put it into this hull because he likes the way it rides better has he ever had the same motor in the same ski from two rides probably maybe not. three yeah maybe three <laughs> or four um he's yeah, had it like his fifth ski and like fourth motor in like two years so yeah. this one is definitely lighter though because i mean i can just tell just i mean i'm always picking the skis yeah. up with him all the time right so it definitely feels a lot lighter and he likes the way it rides better. Would you say what brand is this? This is X Cream, and it's a DBX. Gotcha. So. Actually, well, let's go take a look at the motor that came out of this one. So you said this this is 1100. No, that's a 1200. 1200, and he yeah. wants to. So basically, he wants to compete. So he wants a 900 for yeah. 900 class. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. If he wants to ride amateur, then he can't have anything over a 900. So. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. All right. So where are you guys going? We're going to Lake Sakandaga. It's in the Adirondacks. Sakandaga Lake, yeah. Sakandaga, Sakandaga. I've yeah. never heard of it before, but we're going to see how it is. Okay, it so you're like meeting him up there. He went to Rhode, went Island, to Rhode Island today. Yeah. He was riding in the surf. I don't know if he was doing anything crazy out there because he hit his head the other day. But... Let's see. Parker doing something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, All we'll right. see how it goes. Maybe we'll get some good videos, okay. some flat water stuff. Okay, so Hunter's gonna take the cameras and he's gonna take some video. So take some video of you know the other guys' skis and yep. stuff and whatever else cool you got going. And we'll do. We'll check it out when you get back. All right, so he's gonna take the helm from here. See ya. See ya. What's going on, guys? We just got to the campsite. Hunter's filming a porno. Oh yeah, <laughs> but uh, me and Hunter here. We got my buddy Alec over here. Uh, we got my ski. Which is a DVX, Hunter Superjet. Duffy's got a square nose Superjet, and then he's got his, what year? Uh, 2019. 2019 Richter XFS with a TP964 stock stroke. What's up? 49 full specs, limited slip. He's got. A Torrent 157 Pro Series with a pitch components trim system. Uh, 
Looks sick. This is just a 93 uh, 650 square nose with a pipe and hat and stuff. Nothing crazy. And then if Hunter, I don't know, Hunter, did you, did you talk about it? I explained it a little bit. Um, just not the best. What's up with that? What? No, it's just the screen is off. Oh. But, um, yeah, no, I, I told him about, um, it's got a V-pipe. It's a ported, it's a 7, 7 Yeah, one. so it's a Paul Lear built ski. It's got a Paul Lear ported 760. Uh, 38 Makunis, internal fill, 24-7 uh, pole bracket, mm -hmm. all carbon reinforced. Uh, it's got the back plate that's reinforced. Mm -hmm. X-metal trim system, blosion steering, X-metal pole, 24-7 uh, lowered hood and nose piece. And then it's just a stock pump with extended ride plate, trim, whole nine yards. So it's pretty dialed. Finally got it to run a little better. It's having some yep. issues, but yeah, it's running good now. Yep. So, and then I don't know. Did you guys give him the run over on my ski? Not a hundred percent. A little bit. I told him what it was, but yeah. If you want to let him know? <laughs> Tell him about this beast. <laughs>
Hey guys, so the boys are back and uh, we'll just check in with them, see what's going on. What's up boys? What's going on? How's it going? So hey. Parker, I don't think you told us about your ski. What is the new one here? Uh, so this one that I just got is a uh, X Cream DVX. Yeah. Um, it's full carbon. Um, it's based off a of super jet. Uh, so it takes all Yamaha uh, internals and pump mounting stuff. So you put your motor in it though, right? Yeah, so this is what was in it. It came with, this is a 1200, uh, this is actually Polaris based. Okay. Um, so I took that out because I'm trying to compete and you have to be under 900 cc's. Where, where do you want to compete, Lake Havasu? Lake Havasu, yeah. So then uh, I bought a complete new drivetrain, everything brand new. So this is a 900 TPE uh, competition only. Four mil stroker crank, and then I bought two brand new 49 full spectrum carbs. Those are from Ed Brazina. Mm -hmm. And then I bought a brand new power factor pipe, and I'm running it dry, so no water in it. Yep. And then I got a brand new MSD total loss ignition. So there's no, it doesn't charge while you're riding it, so every time yeah. you hit the start button, and anytime these plugs are sparking, it's uh, draining your battery. Mm. Um, but what it does is it gives you a program of programmable ignition so you can set all your timing nice uh, so it retards like when you're for doing like multiple tricks in a row you want like let's say 10 degrees timing when you're idling and then when you get on the gas and you're at 7,000 rpms you might want it to spike and then you want it to come down when you let off the gas hmm. so you can adjust all that um, sweet and then of course I've got a torn pump in the back so torn is kind of a fairly local builder friend of yours yeah he's he's a sponsor he bought he owns TPE, so he uh hooked me up with all he all this stuff is from him nice um and he set set me up an x cream trim system and but just the basic stuff it's got an x cream adjustable pole competition length uh thrust steering odi grips and then yamaha components like the start stop switch and all that the motor mounts all that good stuff cables cool. So, and I don't know if nice. he, did he explain his a little bit. We did. We talked about that a little yeah. bit. So yeah. So that's, guys... that's a guy named Paul Lear, which is like one of the best builders. Uh, so he used to be called Junior Magoo. So that's a Junior Magoo built ski, um, one of the original ones. Nice. Uh, so that was a that was a good find for that. That's got you know all the parts that you can can buy. So, tell me about the trip. You guys have a good time? Yeah, it was a good time. Looked like the water was a little rough. Uh, the first day it was. Yeah, so we, uh, first of all, I started out riding surf in the ocean and, and I met him um, in, in there. In Sakanaga Lake? Oh, well, yeah, I was in, uh, in. Rhode Island? Yeah, Rhode Island in Narragansett. <laughs> um, so we were, ch I didn't get any video of it, but we were in, in the ocean there. And then he brought the skis. I, I rode my buddy's Richter and then we met up with them. At Great Sakandaga Lake, and there's it's kind of a sit down event, but there's a lot of stand ups that aren't. Seem like there's a ton of them. Yeah, there was like yeah. over a hundred and something jet skis there. Yeah, there was a hundred stand ups or no, there's like a hundred jet skis total, but there was probably fifty or sixty stand ups. Nice. Um, but there was only like ten of us with like flip flip skis. So. Very right, sweet. So had a good time though. Glad yeah. you went. Nothing broke. Yeah, we got hurt. Yeah, everything good. was running real good. Yeah, so we. It was nice. That's what Duke and I say. Let's see. Nobody got hurt. Nothing broke. What a yeah. great weekend. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's especially for these because it's not like snowmobiles. Like everything is expensive. Like, and they're all custom and. Yeah, like if you take a high top performance end, if you take and a top end out on this thing, like it's, it could be anywhere from a thousand to three thousand dollars. You take yeah. the crankshaft out. That's two thousand. And it's not just the. The cost, everything, the market's so small now that you're waiting and waiting and waiting for parts because they don't make many of them, so they have to do things in batches. Okay. So. All right, so I think uh, possibly this weekend you might uh, have some guys at the lake and maybe we'll have our own little free ride. Is that what we're thinking? Yeah, oh, yeah. hopefully we can get the neighbor so. out with the boat. and I'll see what we can do. So. Have a couple of my buddies come down and, uh, yeah, we'll get some good video. Alright, so that about wraps it up. Till next time, catch you later. See ya.